Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And uh, the question was asked uh, on my previous video, and I'm gonna try and answer it. Uh, the question was, uh, is it worth it to put up a pause in HiSec when you're playing EVE Online on your own? Now, as with everything in EVE Online, it's not really a yes or no uh, question. A lot depends on your own activity in EVE Online and what you wanna do and achieve in the game. Uh, let's say that you're you're a pirate or you're uh, someone that runs missions or incursions. Of course, a POS is not going to help you, uh, but a POS can help you with a lot of uh, different aspects in the game. And in fact, I also want to do a quick test. Uh, I want to compare my reprocessing array to the uh, compression array. And so for that, we're going to grab a little bit of this consec consecrated Velspar. Uh, let's round it off to 280,000 units. And uh, then I'll uh, I'll do half of them in the reprocessing array, half of them in the compression array, and uh, see if I can uh, find out which one uh, yields me the most profit. So let's also divide these into two stacks of 140,000, like that. That's uh, right around two million each, and then we'll we'll see what the result is. Let's head over to industry, and yeah, let's uh, try to answer the question: Is it worth it to put up a pause uh, when you're playing Eve Online uh, alone or in a small group? And I, I think the person asking it was he wasn't mining, so of course um, for mining it's actually a pretty big deal uh, because the reprocessing array gives you four percent more minerals then refining uh, your ores from a HISEC station just because of the better base yield that uh, that the reprocessing array in a POS has. So 4% on everything you've mined, um, that's not bad at all. And uh, it, it quickly, it decently quickly becomes worth it to put up a POS um, because those 4% can uh, pretty easily pay for the, the amount of fuels that, that you need to... Uh, to spend in order to get a bus running so uh, I'd say once you've got like four or five guys mining uh, you've got orca support it's absolutely worth it to, to run a post with a, a reprocessing array you don't even need to keep everything online all the time you can uh, shave off a, a bit more profit uh, that way as well if you really want to uh, but uh, yeah for mining, you know, uh, a POS with a reprocessing array can definitely be worth it. Uh, now, the, the baseline, I think most people will immediately look at this, and I'll have to go for show info, is of course the cost of uh, running your POS. And so here we've got 20 fuel blocks an hour, count around 50,000 ISK uh, per fuel block, times 20, around 300,000 ISK per hour uh, just to, to run uh, the POS. It's a decent amount of ISK, of course, and uh, what a lot of people will tell you is that it be becomes worth it once your extra activity, let's say reprocessing and the 4% advantage that you get, will pay more than uh, the, the amount of fuel uh, that, uh, that you're burning through every hour, if you can do that, let's say on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or whatever. Uh, but I don't think it's that black and white here. For instance, you can see that we've got two labs running. What's the value of getting a blueprint originals that are fully researched? It's really hard to put a number on that. But for us, uh, because we are long-term players in EVE Online, we do like to make plans, we like to build stuff up. Um, this research alone is worth keeping a POS running, uh, even up to like a medium POS here. The fuel costs are not that high in and of themselves. I mean, just a little bit of PI uh, or a little bit of playing every day can easily fund the, the fuels for your POS. And then the extra activities um, for a long-term investment, they absolutely become worth it. Uh, we are doing some research. Let me quickly maybe show you guys some of our jobs. Why not? Um, in industry right here, as you can see, we're uh, researching some RAM, some of these uh, um, rig blueprints, a couple of frigate blueprints, some, some mobile tractor unit blueprint. I actually think that there's some money to be made in manufacturing those because they get blown up and lost quite often, uh, some ships and all of that. So just this activity, while it's very hard to, to put an immediate profit on them we feel it's worth it to have a, a number of all of these blueprints ready and available for us uh, this is all about opportunity um, keeping an eye on, on things I imagine with industry it's very difficult at the moment to actually make a profit from industry but it's all about finding the right market you know an area where a certain good is underproduced you've got that blueprint original ready 
uh, that is fully researched well you can go and start supplying that market and make some money once you find that market with a decent uh, margin and you have the blueprint original of course so this is an investment uh, for the future but for us it's absolutely worth it considering what we're doing and what we want to do uh, in EVE Online and then of course there is the manufacturing itself which here you have uh, an equipment assembly array and a component assembly array you also have uh, a little bit of an advantage uh, of an edge uh, when you're producing from here compared to uh, a station it's I don't think it's four percent that depends a lot on your skills and uh, the size of your job um, but yeah it's a small advantage here once again all of this does uh, for us at least mean that the uh, boss is actually worth it and then yeah let's let's take a look at uh, at this experiment here so we, we're gonna uh, compress and refine both of these stacks so let's take a look at what we get here unfortunately we already have quite a, a few uh, ores in this now the good thing about a boss I can just move everything into the first division of the equipment assembly array and then I can move these guys in the reprocessing array and I can do the exact same thing right here. I think I've got some stuff in here as well. Let's move everything here in the equipment assembly array. I used to always haul everything, but uh, luckily for a POS, you don't need to do that. So maybe a, a, a nice little tip here. And then let's put these guys in the compression array and then we've got this setup ready. So let's press reprocess and we're going from 2,010,000 ISK to 2,320,000 so that's for the refining and then let's take a look here at uh, the compressing 2.44 million so that's a little bit better um, at least for uh, concentrated Veldspar which is what I used here it's actually better for me to compress uh, this ore and bring that to the market at least at the current uh, value calculation uh, done by the server but uh, this all depends on different ores will probably have different results but it's good to know um, the reprocessing array uh, in and of itself is already a 4% profit compared to reprocessing in a station and then apparently a compression array can actually actually yield you even more profit uh, than refining uh, the, this stuff yourself so yeah pretty good and uh, yeah when it comes to that uh, that question that was asked I'll, I'll maybe just grab uh, this stuff and uh, bring that back home to the station but is it worth it for a player uh, a single player to put up a POS in high sec of course it all depends on your playstyle but if you're a little bit like me you know you've got some care bear in you you actually dabble in a lot of different aspects of EVE Online and you like to play the long game you know a blueprint originals that are fully researched or something that we do focus on we've got uh, the ability to make fully fitted ships uh, of certain classes already and we're still working on expanding uh, all of those blueprints that that we have and that are fully researched i feel it is absolutely worth it and uh, we in fact really enjoy that type of gameplay as well anyways that's it for this video then guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time